Hi, welcome to Suncoast Elementary School. My name is Stephanie Shoemade and I'm the principal here. I'm so very thankful to invite you on this tour as we explore our state-of-the-art campus. Come on in and look around with us. Welcome to Sunkist Elementary. My name is Steve Key with LPA Design Studios and I'm here to give you a tour of the new Sunkist Elementary School campus. Right now we're standing out in the front where the administration immediately welcomes visitors and students. All right, as you enter into the administration building, you see you are welcomed by a very bright space and safe, and this is where you would come in and check in your students and be your single point of entry for the campus. All right, now you are on campus, and as you enter and exit from the administration building, over on the left-hand side, we have our Research and Innovation Center, but right when you walk into the campus here, you have this beautiful courtyard surrounded by a lunch shelter, vibrant colors, and excitement for the kids. All right, welcome to the center of the courtyard. Here I'm currently standing in the area where the students will have some protected lunch eating areas. This area also doubles as an expansion of the multi-purpose room with these large openings that open up and have a great indoor-outdoor connection. As you pan over this direction, we see some softscape to balance out the hardscape, as well as an outdoor stage that'll be really great for the students to be able to use during great weather that we have here in California. Right now we're standing in the middle of building C and D where right here you see this nice outdoor learning area. Um, prior to this, it was just an asphalt drive. Um, now it's been re-envisioned with uh, softscape, hardscape, places for kids to sit. Right now we're standing in the brand new Kinder Outdoor Play Area, um, significantly expanded from what it once was prior to the reconstruction. Brand new play structures, new artificial turf with safe uh, footing for the students. Right now where I'm standing, I'm where the old Relo Portable Village used to be. Right now it's be, being re-imaged into a brand new play area for the students. Brand new play structure with some exciting uh, graphics on the ground that the kids can explore. As well as new handball courts, a shade structure, and brand new basketball courts. All right, so now we're going to walk in from the play court area into the area where we have the only two-story building on the campus, identified by this bright blue color that is clear for the students to know where the circulation is, um, balancing out the other classrooms here on the right. Okay, so right now we're standing on the second-story balcony of Building B. And as you can see behind me, you really get a feeling for this nice protected courtyard where the students are really going to spend their time. There is a good mix of large areas and small areas where students can congregate. All right, well, welcome to the second floor of Building B. As you can see here, we have a hallway on either side. We have classrooms that support the students. But we also have these new spaces that the students can take advantage of where we have co-labs where students can come out from their classrooms, work in small groups, take advantage of writing surfaces out here. All right, welcome to one of our classroom spaces here. And as you can see, the students are nice and safely uh, separated from each other for COVID, but still are able to utilize this amazing space, some bright colors. Lots of space for writing and learning and pinup space and a good transparency between the interior and outside. Okay, so now we're in our multi-purpose room and as you can see it's already being heavily utilized for the lighting and acoustic abilities in this space. Um, there's some ability for this room to completely open up to the outside. And over here up on the stage, there's a operable wall that allows it to be a smaller space, or right behind that, it's a full-size room, which is in another classroom for the students. All right, so we're in our new um, flexible band and choir space. You can see here, there's brand new instrument storage for the students to utilize, as well as an ability to kind of spread out and have some practices in here. Okay, now we're standing in our other flexible room near the NPR. 
Um, inside this space, there's actually additional amenities such as sinks and the ability to have art in here, which is going to be one of the main focuses. But it also can double when needed as additional space for choir or band as needed. Okay, now we're in the Resource and Innovation Center and the space we're currently standing in will be used as a flexible space and could be a work area, could be an area where kids gather as a class, could be an area where computers go. Um, and as you walk in, you start to see we have all of our mobile stacks um, and all of the volumes for the students here able to get a book either for reading um, at school or at home. And it opens up into a nice reading area where the students are, are really able to just kind of grab a book, have a fun time, and sit and enjoy reading. Thanks for stopping by to learn all about our brand new state-of-the-art facility. Special thanks to the committee members who have served on our different advisory boards who have made this project possible. We also want to give a special shout out to our Anaheim Elementary School District School Board and our superintendent, Dr. Christopher Downing, as well as the rest of the Anaheim Elementary School District staff and personnel who have made this project possible. See you soon.